Good morning. We're eating breakfast. Good morning. It is Monday morning, and as you saw, Lillian is just eating her breakfast, and she had some yummy oatmeal, and now she's having some applesauce before she goes back to bed. How is it, Lillian? You enjoy? Oh, she thinks it tastes pretty good, doesn't it? Yeah. So in the past when I've made the oatmeal and tried to feed it to her, we use the, the whole oats and she just has, she sucks all the liquid off of them even though they're cooked and then she ends up with just the big chunks of oats in her mouth. She'll get a ball of them. And so she can't really eat that very well. So what I did today is I took the oats, I threw them in the grinder and then I cooked them like that and she ate the whole amount that I made for and she really liked it. So. I guess I would call that a mommy success for the morning. We're just gonna finish up our applesauce and then have her take a nap. Today is Monday, which means it's our baking day. I made my list of food, my menu for the week, and we're gonna hopefully not have that much baking to do because this week is just not gonna be quite so ba baking heavy. Art's off to work for the morning and I gotta get the kids up and ready. But Lillian comes first because she has to go back to to her morning nap on a schedule, otherwise the whole day's off, and that's bad. See, I'm all done. I'm all done. <laughs> she had a, ouch, that's my hair. She had a good breakfast, and now it's night night time. Yeah, I know you went again, right? Night night, my dear. Here's your blankie. Have a good sleep. Uh -huh. I'll turn on your noisemaker. There we go. Night night. Sleep well. We had a couple days last week where it was really, really rough with Lillian. She just must have gotten off her schedule just enough to really throw everything off because she wasn't sleeping when she was supposed to be sleeping. And then when I would lay her down, she would start crying and fussing and she was just, she wouldn't go to sleep. And I said to Art, she was like in high gear. She was just hyperactive and there was definitely something um, off with her. But the last two days I've been working on making sure she's back onto a schedule and sort of that routine and she doesn't get overtired and it seems to be working. I'm Good morning, Grace. How did you sleep? <laughs> Whoop. Bye. That took about 30 minutes for her to fall asleep unassisted, but she didn't cry. She just sat there quietly and fell asleep. So that's a success in my book. And since today is baking day, I'll give you a peek at my menu and what we need to cook today. This is what's on the menu for Monday through Saturday. Today is oatmeal. Lunch is gonna be beef and cabbage. And then originally I had planned a ham bone soup with cornbread. But then I found this really good looking taco zucchini casserole on Pinterest, so I may do that today. And then this is the rest of my menu. Hopefully I can show you guys this as we go throughout our daily vlogs. But for baking day, we need to make blueberry muffins, black beans, pizza dough, Charity's already done that, ciabatta bread, and then French bread. This is our baking, the menu for baking this week, and this is the day that we're gonna be using it. So that's what we have to make today. Today is also the day of the eclipse. We're gonna use this as an educational teaching point since it'll probably be a while before the kids see another one of these. I'm gonna take Grace upstairs to get her ready for the morning, and the older kids are helping with laundry this morning. Oh. We're totally running behind schedule today just because Art went to work really early this morning. So that meant that everything that he usually helps me on. Um, oh, this is pretty. Whose is this? I don't remember. This one is three. Two, I don't know. You want to try it on, Grace? Uh, hey, who's in there? Who's in there? It's a little long, but. I think it might work for today around the house. What do you think? I'm looking. You like it? Wow. Yeah. That's one bed made. Now we're gonna take the comforter and a sheet down to the washing machine. We'll wash them up and get them ready for naps. On Facebook a couple days, I asked you guys what you guys all use for your Swiffer, Swiffer pads. So you guys said a lot of different variety and you can see all that on my Facebook page if you wanna check that out for yourself. But what I ended up doing is taking just a old washcloth 
and I'm gonna use this in the girls room and I'm gonna just spritz a little water on it so maybe the dust will stick to it better and then sweep up around. And this is just water, it's not Pantene. I'm just using the spray bottle. Let's see what kind of goodies we can find under the bed. I'm sure there's plenty since this is the girls room. There's the goodies. I bet I'm not the only mom that has children with goodies under their bed. 10.55 and look who's up. That was not a long nap, my dear. What was up with that, huh? I was busy stinking my pants. <laughs> I would have thought she would have slept longer because when she takes her nap, she usually sleeps about an hour and a half to two hours. But today, that was only, what, a 45, 50 minute nap. So now it's on to, I have Lydia making her bed and the girls picking up the room. I didn't finish that project yet, but now that Lillian's up, I'm going to make my bed. I think one of the hardest things about being a parent is making sure that you set a good example. Yes. A good example for your kids. And if I'm demanding them to make their beds, I need to make my bed every morning. And usually we do make our bed every every morning. And today again is just off kilter because Art left early this morning. And I wasn't going to pick up my room and make my bed while she was trying to nap. She's clean! Say yay! Can I play now, Mommy? Can I play? Look at the happy face. I don't think baby smiles and snuggles will ever get old, will they? Yes. Mwah. I love it when they're happy and they're smushy. Yes. <laughs> Look at this happy girl. Lydia's bed is looking pretty good. She just needs to finish folding up her blankets and such, and then that'll be done. It's 11.40. I finished feeding Lillian. Had a phone call to make, and then I had a survey that came in through YouTube about being a YouTube creator and what Art and I thought of the experience, and that was something that I didn't want to pass up on. I'm trying to put my curtains up while I'm talking to you guys, because you know, every minute counts, so I have to work and talk at the same time. But, where are you going? See, I'm going everywhere. Look at this little girl, she's going everywhere. See, I have so much to do and things to see. Yes, ma'am, she's not crawling yet, but she's figured out how to go backwards and roll around. You can't go under the bed, you'll get stuck. But, oh, 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 it got you, it got you. Oh, the wood floor got you. Oh, oh, oh. It's becoming pretty apparent that she did not get enough sleep this morning. But, mwah. We will keep you up until nap time. We'll just play and have some fun and you can help me pick up my bedroom, okay? Oh, that doesn't sound good. I was in the middle of telling you about our YouTube survey when Grace had a major meltdown. But anyways, there was a YouTube survey that popped up and I wanted to take advantage of filling that out because they really rely on the feedback of creators and people who do videos for how they change their program. And they've been currently making some changes to the system that really have not worked well for creators at all. So I wanted to definitely take the time to fill that out and get that to them so we can hopefully get some changes made to YouTube making this a little bit more friendly for creators and better content for you guys in the long run. Grace kind of threw a monkey wrench into my mommy plans, but that is how parenting goes. You can't always predictably tell when something's going to come up with your kids. And pretty much what happened is she just didn't like I took the iPad away from her and she really had a bad attitude about it. Was not happy and did the toddler to the two year old toddler tantrum thing. And so I've been working through that with um, the having her sit in the naughty spot. We're back on track again, but it just kind of threw a 20 minute monkey wrench into um, the mommy routine. I still have not, as you guys know, have not gotten into doing my back black beans or any of my baking day. So for lunch today, we are scheduled for beef and cabbage. And I am so extremely thankful for Charity who knows the recipe and is able to cook it. And there's our beef and cabbage. We'll wrap that up in some tortillas and call that lunch. It's Monday morning and I can see, you can see. Uh, but I, I have.
have a life jacket on. Yes, I want to swim. Swimming. Yeah. But we're not going swimming yet. Fresh cabbage from our garden. And along with tortillas and other food. And there's the E. And fresh garden salad. Ah, it's not salad. Fresh garden. Fresh garden. Cabbage. Fresh garden cabbage with tomatoes and meat. Yum. Yeah. And with and, sauce. And with sauce. Mm. And there's the E. There's the water. Art is making a, well, attempting to make a giant solar eclipse viewing box. In a tiny little hole there. Oh, yeah, let's see. There's the hole. And tiny here's my hole. hole. And then, I did it. On the other end, you'll have to make uh, an observation place. That's how you know that we have old-fashioned names, right? When you see <laughs> your name of lots of people dying in the obituaries. Here you go. Was there any Lydia's? Nope. No, so you Two know. Johns and one Peter and then one Robert. I have never wow. seen you die. And you've never seen you die! Yay! I don't remember ever seeing my <laughs> A word of advice, stay consistent with your kids no matter how, I know she's eating a baby mama, no matter how hard it is, be consistent and stick to what you said. Janelle is getting our observatory ready. Do we have a sun? There's the sun. And there's the sun. You can see a tiny little uh, side of the sun. It's flat. Is it actually? A tiny little bit. I see. Is it actually really starting? Yes, it is. There. There you go. Now I can see it better. Okay, there. Janelle just set the box there. It started. And now we're watching NASA's eclipse channel that they have and we're seeing what's going on. So there's a total eclipse in Idaho Falls, Idaho. I wonder where was it? Becky will see it. There it is, sun is gone. Oh my gosh. <laughs> These must be solar flares, right? Yes, they are. That is really neat. Wow. I can see why flares? people want to go down to the Tennessee. Yeah. I don't know. Diamond or yeah. the ring? That is so right. Oh, no, that kind of diamond ring. Oh my gosh. What? Back in Burton Hills, New York, this is what we have. Uh, just a little bite out of the sun so far. It's about 2, almost 2.15, and it's actually gotten a little dark out here. See if I can move my little eclipse box and see what we're looking at. I need my hubby to get this lined up. So that's what we have currently. We have some clouds, some light clouds coming through. So that's where we stand at the moment. That is really neat. It is 2.30 and it's getting tiny. Getting tiny. And the lighting out here is actually kind of eerie. It probably camera, the camera probably isn't picking it up, but it's really, really strange. I'm trying to get the eclipse and we've got a cloud, a big old giant cloud. Ah. That's what we have left here. We had to move our viewing station out to the lawn. Come on, camera. It's 2.49 and that's what we have for the eclipse so far. It's 3 o'clock and that's what we have. I'm not sure if what else is going to happen with it because I don't know if the sun is like going or the moon's going out of its way now. Uh, they said we weren't supposed to get totally dark so I don't know. But that's where we stand right now. Peter has come out to check out the eclipse viewing. It's not often you get to see half the sun covered up. Someone apparently did not like the solar eclipse because she only slept maybe 40 minutes. <laughs> Would you like to tell me why you only slept 40 minutes? Say, I couldn't miss baby's first solar eclipse. No, ma'am. If I miss the solar eclipse, I might not see one until I'm, uh, mm, let's see, 90? So Lillian, what is your thoughts on the solar eclipse? 
So this is my real mom life with a seven and a half month old, one who seems to be quite unpredictable with her sleep at the moment. Anyways, I have gotten like nothing done today because I've been with this little lady. Oh, and she really needs to sleep, but she can't sleep. What do you say? You and me could take a nap right now, right here on the floor. No, not the hair, not the hair. Would you like to go night night now? What do you think? You want to go night night? It's 4.45. Art came home. He ran off to the post office and I have been tending to Miss Lillian who, because she didn't sleep well, has gotten very cranky, but she is sleeping once again. So Mary, what did you do? Pick up, pick up a room? Yes, what did you get for picking up your room? EMT book! What are you going to read about? Hmm. Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm going to look for Yowsies. Okay. <laughs> Before it gets too late in the night. So are you happy and excited? Yes! What did you tell me? Uh, I said if I pick a book, can I have the auntie book? And I said if you do a good job. Yeah. And you did a good job helping me. Yeah. So you get the auntie book tonight. Mom. Okay. I'm in the process of cooking dinner. It's 5.30. It's actually gone together pretty quickly. I originally had planned to do that zucchini or black bean soup. That didn't happen because of just the sheer craziness today and Lillian choosing not to sleep. And this is another reason why I really want to do a batch of freezer meals and have that in the freezer so for days like this I can just pull that out and put that in for dinner. I didn't have that opportunity tonight. Hello. He's a good helper. But this is what we ended up making. It was a total team effort. We have a beef and broccoli stir fry. This was on my menu for tomorrow night. We have some green beans and some soy sauce. All the little girls in charity helped make cornbread. And then I have rice in my instant pot. And yes, I know there is like total chaos in this kitchen. That's what happens when we're trying to cook fast. One of the families at our church their uh, father died and uh, the wake is this evening and we weren't sure if we were going to go or not but we think it's the right thing to do and life isn't too crazy at the moment so we're going to go. There's my handsome hubby. Guess what he got done before we got dressed up. I changed the light bulb. Yay. Yeah, yeah, the, the little beast bus lost a headlight Oops. yesterday. Let's Oops. Try that again. Take two, right? Usually <laughs> take three or four and eventually I get it. Yeah. We have Lydia and just water from a car. Uh, Mary, Grace, Peter. I got her. We have Lillian, Charity. Is that one, two, three, four, five, six? We have them all. How come it just doesn't feel like we have them all tonight, Art? All right, let's go on in. We are home. It's almost 8:30, and Lillian all the way there and all the way home. All she says is bop. Bop, bop, bop. She's got this new vocabulary of bop, 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 bop. It's almost 11 o'clock and Mary is still not sleeping and obviously Charity's not sleeping. But Mary's been having a meltdown about not getting to read the EMT book. She stuck it in my bed like she was going to go to sleep and then she just had like this total yeah, meltdown. I put she... it away and then she like started screaming. And so I'm going to insert a clip right here where you can watch Mary. Charity actually got a video of Mary reading the EMT book. I think it's so adorable. I'll insert it right here. You guys can see it for yourself. It is midnight and Art is still at work. I was working on closing out a 31 party with actually one of you guys this time, except it's, it's too late and I want to make sure I get you guys the best deal. So I like to fiddle around with the numbers after my hostesses give me their orders. I work on it for a while, making sure that they have the best possible deal. And oftentimes I can get another um, 10 or $20 either free or off their bill. My brain is like fried after this crazy day. So I'm gonna call it, um, I'm just gonna call it a night and 
get ready for bed. I hope you've enjoyed today's day in the life video. I think this gives you a pretty realistic look at what my day consists of from the time I get up to the time I go to bed. So I hope you've enjoyed it. If you do, please make sure you like it, give it a thumbs up, and subscribe to our channel if you're new. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you for our next video. Good night.